Hello. So these are the warm-up problems. The second set, so problem number two in problem set number seven. So warm-up problem number one. How much force does an 80 kilogram astronaut exert on his chair while sitting at rest on the launch pad? And how much force does he exert on his chair while accelerating straight up at 10 meters per second squared. So in the first situation, we have the uh, astronaut, which in this case looks like a box. They didn't say that it was human. And so uh, it is at rest. So that means that the acceleration is zero and the velocity is zero. So some of forces in the y direction um, is equal to zero. And what are the forces that we have acting uh, on the bench that is actually providing uh, this force? Uh, well, it's actually measuring a force over here. And the answer is 780 Newtons. And it's gonna be the force of the spring provided by, or you can imagine that there's a spring uh, measuring the weight of this person. And it's gonna be pointing up because the person is pointing down. And the, the force with which it is pulling down is the weight. So mass times gravity and it's equal to zero. So it means that the spring constant, which is, which is the actual measurement that we're doing is going to be um, so this one is no, negative, it's in the negative direction. It's gonna be mg. So the mass is 80 kilograms. And the acceleration is, if this astronaut, alien astronaut is on earth, it's gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared. That is equal to 784 Newtons, which is just the weight of the astronaut. On the other hand, if there is an acceleration, then this is not equal to zero anymore. This is equal to, well, it was equal. It was always equal to mass times acceleration in y, but the acceleration was zero. Now it is not. They are telling us that uh, the acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. So now we have the same equations, except that this is not gonna be equal to zero. This is gonna be equal to mass times acceleration in y. So then fs, which is the measurement of that we're performing, is going to be m a in the y direction plus m g. Or if we want to factorize this, fs is equal to m acceleration in y plus g. This one is 10, this one is 9.8. So the measurement is gonna be 80 kilograms times 10 
times 9.8 is 19.8 meters per second squared. So we multiply 80 times 19.8, and that is equal to 1584 newtons, kilogram times meter per second squared newtons. Okay, so the equations are the same. The value of the acceleration changes from zero to 10. And so the force that is measured over here, the weight, is more when the sheep is accelerating up than when it is just standing, um, when it is just at rest. And you, know, you can do these, you can do your own experiment. If you're just standing on the floor, then you feel only your weight. But if you're trying to accelerate, you know, either by pushing on the floor or someone is pushing you up, then you will feel like you're heavier, right? Um, maybe a good example will be if you're um, in an airplane and you know, at, at take off, there's a pretty big acceleration and you feel like, you know, even like your organs staying behind, right? It feels really weird. So um, it is because there's this additional acceleration. So it's in addition to your regular weight. So that's warm up problem um, A. There's another one, B. The foot of a 55 kilogram sprinter is on the ground for 0.25 seconds while her body accelerates from rest to two meters per second. What is the magnitude of the friction force? Well, We know that friction is what propel us forward when we're walking. So uh, when you walk, you exert a force on the ground back. Forces always come in pairs, action reaction pairs. So there's another force equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, acting on different bodies, acting on you. So you push the ground backwards and the ground pushes you forward. So friction is what propels you when you're walking. So this uh, sprinter, her mass is 55 kilograms. She accelerates from rest, so her initial velocity is zero meters per second to a final speed of two meters per second in 0 0.25 seconds. Right, so this is like one, one step. What is the magnitude of the friction force? Uh, friction, just like any other force, is mass times acceleration, is Newton's second law. We know the mass and we can get the acceleration uh, from this information. So the kinematic equation will tell us that the velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So this is equal to zero. We can forget about it. Uh, we can divide, actually, let's not forget about it just yet. So we'll have velocity minus initial velocity 
equals acceleration times time. So now we can put the time over here and we get the acceleration. Right, so this is delta V. Delta V divided by delta T. But of course, this one is zero, V naught. So it's just the final velocity, the two meters divided by time. So that's two meters per second divided by 0 0.25 seconds. This is one fourth. So we can put the four over here. It's going to be eight meters per second squared. So friction is going to be equal to 55 kilograms times eight meter meters per second squared. That one is 440. So friction is 440 newtons, and it is the force that is propelling the sprinter forward. So yeah, I hope you like the problem. Thank you.